I saw like what me and mom think is a weasel just running through the giant pile of rocks. Sammy's been calling for me. She has something that she really wants to show me. So let's go check it out. All right. So I've been digging in this pile of rocks for quite a while and I've gotten pretty far, but I don't think I'm gonna dig here any further because I think I've hit snake territory. Can you bring the camera over here, please? Now what makes you think that that is snake territory? Do you have any clues? Yeah, over here. If you're able to bring the camera any closer. Here, hold on. I found a pretty pretty good snake skin. There is some snake skin in there. Yeah. So somebody's been using that to rub off their old skin and it looks like a little guy. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a garden snake. What's up, ladies? Hey, Hi guys! I found some snake skin! What? Snake skin! Snake skin, huh? Yeah! Nice. Snake territory here! I think you and I, Sam, might be the only ones that think it's cool. <laughs> Come here. here I'm going to need your help with this one. No, nah, I don't know if we need to pull that one out. I don't want to. Are there any poisonous snakes in Minnesota? I don't know. There are, but they're in southeastern Minnesota. They are not up here. Yeah. Regardless, snakes can still bite, so yeah. we need to be careful. Although I picked up a couple snakes in my day. Yeah, so this is like a foot away from where we found this snake skin and we're lifting up this giant rock to see what's inside. We don't want to wreck his nice house if he found a nice place to live because we like snakes. I think this is like a piece of like some china. And just Are those the neighbors? Oh my goodness. Yeah. They're, they're pretty hunting. rowdy. Hmm. Interesting. And I was handling some pure clay. Yeah, I My like it. Hands are only a little bit dirty now because it rubbed off. So, guys, I think when I was digging, I think that we found iron in here. It looked a little bit like iron to me, and it's kind of rusting. So, just makes me assume there's iron. Corner of those rocks. Do you see that rusty-looking thing? What is that? I don't know. Can you get it? Great parenting yeah. moment. Go pick up that rusty piece of metal over there Look and bring it back. Nail. <laughs> what is it? A giant nail. Is it a nail? Look at, what, is the end a nail? Yeah. Look at that. Bring it close so we can see what that is. Found a giant nail. Is it sharp on the end though? No. And feel here. I think it kind of like dulled out. I think that looks more like a bolt because look at this part yeah. right here. Some like plus head. So that. Oh. something from this old this Can, old house that we're staying in. Would any of you be able to tell us in the comments what this is? <laughs> There's Sammy's board. And then, here. Where are you standing right now? Will you tell me about this place? Well, I think... Oh! Oh! What? A muskrat? Well, whatever it was. It had like little mouse ears, but a really long body. I think it's a possum. Did it have any stripes on it? Um, it had a big white stomach. Maybe a <laughs> gopher. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, oh guys, it's around there. Huh. Could be a gopher. We are in the gopher state. Oh, that is a gopher. And a long tail. Oh, oh, I just saw him. Yeah, that's him. I wonder if we can get him on camera. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ah! That is not. That is a weasel. Oh. I think. I can't. It keeps popping in and out. It lives in here. I think we're disturbing his house. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's, he's really. I think he's a weasel, Sam. I don't know if we can get him on camera or not. Maybe we should. Um, we're probably stressing him out. Maybe we should just let him be for a little bit. Right out of that big 
tall there. And he, he like stared right into my eyes. <sighs> but he was so cute. Did he give you a dirty look? No. No. He was kind of like. Hmm. What is this thing? Will it eat me? Or will it not eat me? Oh, that guy was so cute. He's cute. He was actually pretty cute. He looked pretty freaked out though. But it definitely it wasn't a gopher. Hopefully I got hopefully I got a, enough of him on video that we can watch it back and figure out what he is. You got him on video? Yeah. Yes. I did, but it's from far away, so it might not show up enough for us to like really zoom in on him. It must have been living there for a while, cause it has like this perfect tunnel. It would be like somewhere, maybe around here, and then like a second later, it would be all the way like over there has a really good tunnel, so I think it's been living there. I'm not gonna dig around in there that much anymore because I really don't want to disturb it. I just saw something, like, it looked like it was just jumping straight through those bushes, and I got a glimpse of it. Looked like it had a brown head, but that's what it looked like to me. It was cut, it was really blurry because it was going super fast. It'd just be the stomach of a deer jumping really weirdly. Okay. Well, I would not be surprised at all if we saw some deer run through here. Yeah. I mean, we've but that seen, was like massive. We have seen the remains of several deer on the property. Yeah, yeah kind of gruesome. Sorry. Yeah, I put the camera here for a little bit. I did not see anything run through. That does not mean that there isn't something back there. It was just in the short time we had the camera, we did not see it. I'm not hallucinating. I don't think you're hallucinating. Um, but we dad and I saw like 20 plus deer just on the drive from Grim and Grandpa's cabin to here. They were all over the place. How was your ride? Awesome! Show me what you had all over you. Mud. Mud.